Hello, and welcome to how to use the black and white adjustment tool, an Adobe Photoshop tutorial presented by Logon to Learn, powered by KnowledgeWave. In this session, we will cover how to manipulate the new black and white adjustment tool for different looks. Adobe Photoshop CS4 has the ability to create more interesting and dynamic black and white images through the black and white adjustment tool. The result is something that is more complex and interesting than simply going grayscale. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. It's under our image menu, adjustments, and then select black and white. Now, unlike going straight to grayscale, we can actually set grayscale values for individual colors in the image. This image is a tractor, it's a red tractor. So I want my tractor to come in darker. So I'm actually gonna come in here and make my reds significantly darker. I'm also gonna move my magentas darker to match my reds. And also my yellows just a little bit darker. If I wanna highlight the difference between the tractor and the grass, I would make the greens a little bit lighter. And there we go, I like those settings. Now I can also add a tint, there's a tint checkbox. And when I check it, I get a sepia effect. Now there's two different sliders here, hue and saturation. I'm gonna address saturation first. If you want less sepia, simply drag the slider to the left. If you want more sepia, drag it to the right. One of the things I like to do, I'm gonna drag this down to about 10 call it 11. And I'm going to bring over my hue slider to about 240. And I've now given the image a bluish tint. And a little blue goes a long way. So I'm actually going to bump this down a little bit more to 5%. And now I'm going to click OK. And when I look at this image, clearly there's just a touch of color, but it still looks like a black and white photo. And I think this has a much more interesting look than going straight grayscale. Now that said, if you need a true grayscale image, this does not accomplish it. But if you're trying to create an artistic look or an image for the web or for four color print, this will do just fine. Play around with it and find a look you like. We hope this session has been informative. Thank you for choosing Log On to Learn powered by KnowledgeWave, educating the world anytime, anywhere.